Thank you, Paul. Thank you to AmCham and ING for having us tonight. Uh, it's a great pleasure every time to, to be here because uh, speaking to a foreign audience is something that happens too rarely. Um, we strongly believe that it's important to talk to everybody, to talk with everybody, and to make the best out of all those ideas that are floating around. If parties tell you that they and they alone have the solution, I'm skeptical. I don't claim that we have the one solution. We have some visions for the municipal elections, for the Luxembourgish, uh, for the city of Luxembourg elections, but also for the elections around the country. Um, claiming to have the one solution for problems like mobility, integration, or housing uh, seems a bit bizarre looking at the track record of the last 20 years in Luxembourg. Yes, Luxembourg developed quite nicely. We made it happen over the last 20 years. We didn't need a slogan for it. It happened because of all of us. Yet, if you're running for elections, you need to have a slogan, apparently. So, if only to be able to repeat it over and over again until nobody wants to hear it anymore. So here's ours. Ours is modern, fair, and transparent. Uh, I will simply talk about those three words quickly because the time is running out already. Um, modern means that we want to have cities and municipalities that are fit for the future. We don't want to hide behind what happened in the past, but we are looking strongly to the future to see what's happening outside of the borders of Luxembourg. Whether it's in Luxembourg City or in Clairvaux, in Remisch or in Echteralzet, every city and town has their unique challenges and we need to address them in an age of digitization, in an age of rapid change. We can't ignore the change that's happening around us by simply doing it like Luxembourgers like to do it and ignore what happens outside of our borders. So making a city or a town fit for the future means that we need to support local initiatives that bring this modernization, that allow people to learn how to use the new tools, to support initiatives like startups, and I applaud Luxembourg City for doing a little in that direction, but having created companies in and around Luxembourg City, I can tell you, it's not that easy as it sounds. If you have the money to pay for an expensive lawyer, obviously everything is much easier in Luxembourg, but that overt and hidden nepotism that you can only get to somewhere if you know somewhere someone needs to stop. That is what we mean with transparent cities. We want cities where citizens are actively involved every step of the road. And claiming that you are transparent by having a live stream of your city council that happens on the Monday afternoon at three o'clock, or by having meetings at 9 a.m. in the morning with the deputy mayors, that doesn't sound very transparent for me. Because most people still need to work to pay for their milk or for their food in their mouth. We also need to work to pay for our housing, for a roof ab above our head, so we can't make it at that time. So what we want is a city council that goes out more towards their citizens, that have more regular meetings outside of City Hall, and that have meetings at times where people actually can follow it. Um, then we want fair cities, and I talked about housing. Housing is probably one of the biggest and most contentious issues in, those, in these elections. Everybody has their solution, and most of them actually could work. Some of them we already tried, and yeah, they work to some extent. What we need is to rethink who is building and how much we are building and where we are building. So if we are building, and we can now talk about Place de l'Etoile, which is uh, <laughs> a project that 
everybody knows. We can talk about uh, we can talk about Porte Hollerich, but we can also talk about successful projects. What we need is more involvement by the municipalities to build. I don't mean to expropriate people. I don't mean to take fields or plots of land away from the people, but we need to have a municipal development company that can actively build on the Luxembourgish market to increase the offer. Last, last year, we had about 3,500 units that were built based on those 1,400 permits that were issued. We need more. We need a lot more. So we need more actors that can build new units. Every company that I talk to tells me we have a problem. We can't find enough talent in Luxembourg, and most people need to drive a long commute every day to come to Luxembourg and work here. If we build more houses, we will be able to attract more talent to be a resident in Luxembourg. Finally, and I want to uh, stop on a positive note, I believe that integration happens through uh, common activities between Luxembourgers and non-Luxembourgers, whether it's in sports teams, in cultural associations, or simply by being in the same association uh, as a parent to support your local teachers. Every act of common activity helps to integrate better and quicker. That's why the Pirate Party wants to strongly and e support local associations, whether it's by finding localities where they can actually have their activities, or whether it's by supporting them through monetary contributions. Obviously, we have a lot more in the program. I won't distribute it on paper. You can download it at stadt.piraten.lu. And I hope that on the 8th of October, you will think about us and maybe give us some of your votes. Thank you very much. Thank you.